Hey everyone, and welcome to Let's Build a Band App. In this series, we will work through building an application to support the needs of DIY bands. We'll start out solving some basic problems and move into more complex ground, eventually transforming the application into a platform that others can use and build upon. Previously on Let's Build a Band App, well, there is no previously. We're starting from scratch here, so, uh, uh, but, we'll, but we do have some prerequisites, which we'll go over in a few minutes, but they are uh, very quickly Node.js, and with Node.js comes NPM, the Node Package Manager. You could visit nodejs.org to get Node.js. And uh, in this episode, we will uh, go through what Loopback is, we'll uh, get an understanding of how it works, we'll uh, check out our uh, prerequisites, and then we will also initialize our first application. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to the uh, announcer style version of me, and I'll answer the question, what is Loopback? Loopback is an open source framework to rapidly build RESTful APIs in Node.js. It uses a command line interface, also known as a CLI, to scaffold your application and build out your API layer based on your data, a model-driven approach. It isn't just fast and easy, it's also robust and extensible. It's built on top of Express, so it has a widely used and battle-tested foundation. Loopback really is so awesome that it's almost magical, so let me take a quick moment to show you how fast you can build out an API layer in uh, Loopback. So I will start by initializing an application. Of course, I will call it cats. We will have a cats directory. I'm gonna choose the current version of the framework. I'm gonna choose an API server as my starting point, which includes a user model. And then it will do npm install, which will give me um, once it's done installing these handy next steps here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in by going into my cats directory and I will start by calling LB model to begin building out my model driven API endpoint. So I will call it cat and I'm gonna choose the in memory data store but later on in this uh, series we will get into how to work with other data stores and we'll choose a persisted model to keep our data in sync. We will expose it via the public REST API. We do not need a custom plural. We'll choose the common model for client and server. We'll start to enter in some properties for our model. We'll begin with name, which is a string. It is required, and we'll leave it blank for default. We'll also say is friendly, which of course is a Boolean. We will say it's not required, but we will make it false for insurance purposes. And now if we run our node application, we can interact with it and see that we have quickly built out an API. Now I will show you this working where if I enter in a cat here and um, get rid of that stuff we can see that uh, it gives me some curl options, some request URL examples, and that's my response body, my response code, and my response headers. Now if I scroll back to the top and I choose get option, and I try that out, we'll see that our fluffy cat was posted. By default it is, that cat is not friendly, and we have an ID. So to get started using Loopback, the prerequisites are Node.js, which if you do not have, you can go to nodejs.org. This is the download page here. But let's go ahead and see if we do have Node. So if I type um, node-version, it tells me I have version six. I believe anything over version four will work for Loopback. And Node comes with NPM installed the node package manager, but if we want to just be doubly sure, we can do that as well. And let's see if I have um, loopback installed, which of course I do. If I didn't though, I could type npm install dash dash global or even just dash g 
and say loopback CLI. Now that will install that globally on my machine so that I can instantiate a loopback application anywhere on my computer. So knowing that I do have loopback, if I type lb dash dash help, it will give us some uh, good um, information here, some options and usage and it will also show us some of the available commands or all of the available commands. And with that, I turn it back over to you, Joe. Thanks. It was a very helpful introduction and overview to loopback, how to get a loopback application initialized, as well as interacting with the API through the uh, Swagger Explorer and the prerequisites involved. And it was kind of a quick overview, so we're going to take a moment to walk through those steps a little bit more uh, slowly and a little bit more in depth. And so with that, I turn it back over to you. Let's initialize our loopback application. And we can do so by going into our terminal and typing LB or LB app, and this will invoke the loopback generator. The generator will go through a series of prompts to scaffold our application. So let's get started. The first prompt, it asks us, what's the name of our application? I'm going to call it band app. And then it asks us, what is the name of the directory that we would like to build out this application into? By default, it assumes that you would like to create a directory with the same name as your application. If you wanted to build this application in the current working directory, you could type period, or if you preferred, you could type some other directory name there, and it would create that directory. We're going to choose the default option here, and have loopback create a directory for us with the same name as the application, as you see there. And then it is also traversed into that directory to start building out the application. The next question is which version of loopback we would like to use. The current version is 3.x. If for some reason you needed to do something in 2.x, you could. That is still on long-term support. And 4.x is in active, de active development, and we expect it to be released sometime later this year. The next prompt is asking us where we would like to begin building our application. Like, what sort of foundation do we want to start from? The first choice, and the one that I typically use, is the API server option. And that gives you a basic loopback API server with the local user auth model pre-configured for you. Another option is a simple empty loopback API server without any pre-configured models or data sources. You could also choose a hello world starting point, which gives you some basic functionality. Or you could choose the notes application option, which gives you even more functionality and is more of a basic working example to see how loopback functions. As I said, I typically choose the API server option because I do like to take advantage of that user model. We can extend that later uh, for any sort of user role we may have in our application for members or, or what have you. So now Loopback has scaffolded our application with our files to run Loopback, and it's also created a package JSON and has run npm install. And at this point, um, NPM is retrieving all of our external dependencies. This sometimes takes a moment, depending on your internet connection, but don't be alarmed by the many modules that it installs. To reduce duplication of effort, uh, Node.js has a large ecosystem of many small modules, and NPM, the Node Package Manager, handles these modules in a smart and efficient manner. Once the installation of these external modules is complete, we'll see a listing of these modules in this tree structure, as you can see the tail of there. And then Loopback uh, gives us some handy next steps to get us started. 
And so you would typically traverse into the directory you need to work in and then start to build out your first model-driven API endpoint, which we will get to in the next video. Hey, great. So yes, as stated there, next up in the next episode, we will get to uh, building out our API endpoint and diving a little bit deeper into that. Earlier in the video, we, we kind of went through it quickly, but in the next episode, we'll dive a little bit deeper into what's going on there. So thanks for tuning in to the Let's Build a Band app series, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.